Hello, welcome to Deep Spirituality. In this video, we'll look at some of the promises God makes to us about what happens when we get to know Him. God brings lasting happiness. Job 20 verse 5, those who don't know God are happy for only a short time. We can spend a lot of our lives pursuing happiness from things that don't last. To name a few, we can pursue money, sports, academics, attention from people, or approval from parents. Those things only make us happy for a short time. When we don't know God, we end up running to the next thing to make us happy. But when we have a personal friendship with God, we know that we are always loved and God is always working for our good. This makes our happiness last, no matter what happens in our circumstances. God frees us from the burden of trying to behave right. Hosea 6.6 6. This is because I want faithful love, not sacrifice. I want people to know God, not to bring burnt offerings. In Old Testament times, making a burnt offering was a way of sacrificing or making a tribute to God. But this verse tells us that God doesn't just want us to perform religious rituals or behaviors. He wants us to know Him and love Him. It's easy to fall into the trap of trying to behave right or follow all the rules we think we should follow to please God. But this way of living is very burdensome. Getting to know God frees us from the burden of trying to perform perfectly or behave like a perfect person. When we get to know God, we understand that He wants our hearts. We become motivated to serve Him because we're grateful for how He loves us, even with all our imperfections. God has good plans for our lives. Romans 12.2 Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. The moment we get to know God is the moment we understand that His will for our lives is good, pleasing, and perfect. God has a unique purpose and destiny for each of us, and it's bigger than anything we could achieve or accomplish on our own. This is one of the most exciting things about getting to know God. As you get to know Him, He'll show you why you're here. He'll help you understand your purpose in the world. He'll tell you what He wants for you, and these plans are good. God changes our relationships for the better. Jeremiah 22, verse 16. He helped those who were poor and needy, so everything went well for him. That is what it means to know God, says the Lord. Knowing God isn't just about having intellectual knowledge or scholarly wisdom of the Bible. When we choose to know God, our relationships change. Why? Because God's love changes us from the inside out. 1 John 4, 7. Dear friends, we should love each other because love comes from God. Everyone who loves has become God's child, and so everyone who loves knows God. Knowing God is not about gaining more knowledge, it is about understanding His love. When we do, we will naturally start to love the way God does. Everyone wants and needs love. Knowing God is an important first step in loving the people around us. God frees us from being dominated by worry. Matthew 6, 31-34 Don't worry and ask yourselves, will we have anything to eat? Will we have anything to drink? Will we have any clothes to wear? Only people who don't know God are always worrying about such things. Your Father in Heaven knows that you need all of these. But more than anything else, put God's work first and do what He wants. Then the other things will be yours as well. Don't worry about tomorrow. It will take care of itself. You have enough to worry about today. Getting to know God frees us from being dominated by worry. God already knows everything we need. Though worry is a normal human emotion, we don't have room for God in our thoughts when we let our worries consume us. God wants our focus to shift from worry to faith, that He wants to take care of all our needs. Pause and reflect. Which of these five promises about getting to know God stands out to you the most? Why? Which of these five promises about getting to know God do you need to work to believe the most? For more studies and videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to deepspirituality.com. Thanks for watching.